G'day, mate. Ah, oh, the dingo stole my baby. Oh, wrong, wrong Australian movie. <clears throat> um, a buddy was mentioning this is one of his favorite movies and movie cars of all time. So I told him, why I'm I do my next unboxing. I will unbox the Mad Max, the Road Warrior Interceptor. Oh, yeah. That's nice. You know what's even nicer? Oh, boy. Two of them. The Ultimate Edition. The Dirty Dog Edition. Look at that. So, we've got both of these bad boys. I I don't have enough camera. I need like a wider angle lens. This is getting ridiculous. So, we'll, we'll put the dirty one aside for a moment. Now, I've had these for a while. I'm sitting on ah, a not insignificant stash of nice die-cast movie cars from various properties. Let's just put that box over to the side. And then we've got, got our accessory bits, a spare tire. We've got the dog and everything. We've got some instructions here on how to put the dog in there. Or is, the, or is this the dingo? Did he steal the baby? I don't know. But let's find out. Let's just get these little, oh, we got a little machete. Come on. Well, we don't keep all our toys in the box in this house. Okay. So we've got a couple of cute little machetes. Very nice. We've got our little BFG Radial TA. I'm, and this is auto art, so you know that's like, that's a legit, you know, BF Goodrich. They got permission to do that. We're paid. We got some food. Dog food. Dinky dee. Uh, we got a couple of jerry cans for fuel and or water. And we have our very nicely detailed little pooch. Okay. Really looks good. You know, for, for a throw-in with a uh, die-cast car. Oh my god, people. We have never actually... I've never even opened this one. I had the ultimate edition. Oh, there goes some value. Here's how you burn through a hundred bucks. Just like that. Um, I had the dirty one on display. And I figured, oh, look at this. Fresh and minty. This is uh, extra soft tissue paper. Is it what, it's, what Australians wipe their butts with when they go to the bathroom? And then it flushes backwards? There we go. Look at that. This is... This is just... Oh, son of a... You gotta put screws in there, don't you? That's okay. We have a brand new Viha. My gosh. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not messing with that noise. Let's let's bust bust out the uh, the heavy equipment. Uh oh, oh, I hit the camera. Sorry about that, everyone. Where the hell did my did my screw and screwer go? Here's my screw and screwer. Uh, gentle edition. Just a little little three volt doodad. Are we in there? There we go. That's Uno. Yeah. Dos. And Bob's your uncle. And she's out. Put those there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm something special about auto art cars they're just they're just the nicest i mean go in there look at that you got what's that little upside down tiki head thing i have to watch the movie again i haven't seen it in quite a few years actually um got the exhaust pipes now that's an exhaust system and look at the suspension detail it's lovely you even got the little uh self-destruction device on there a little pocket on the side of the fuel tank to hold your machete and it will hold the machete which is just a sick attention to movie accuracy this is how we like to open hoods just turn the car we got the matte paint in the middle of the hood yes last of the v8 interceptors with a giant blower on there so cool little battery got some decals on the battery plug wires are colored in engine block is ford blue 
Got the driver's side on the wrong side of the car. No, it's not. It's perfectly fine. This is Australia. You got another machete holder right there. Um, some other little stowage bits. The gear shift with a little pull-up, turn on the blower switch. I always wondered how they, how that operated. It would have to be, because, you know, a supercharger, if the engine's spinning, the supercharger's spinning, you would have to have some sort of electromagnetic, like uh, like a air conditioning compressor clutch involved to actually turn on the blower. But if the blower wasn't spinning and you're running the engine, the blower would be an air restriction. So, I mean, realistically, it was very cool in the movie, but the mechanics of it are a little more complicated in real life. And he's got his, uh, his extended range uh, fuel towing package, you know. Ford generally hides these under the bed of the trucks and well, this is Mad Max, and it's, you know, post-apocalyptic Australia. So, we got our front end details are lovely. And uh, I know Greenlight recently uh, came out with their own, with their own V8 interceptor, Mad Max car, whatever. And they also had the regular police edition colors. That's cool. Um, let's unbox the Ultimate Edition. Put these two mamma jammas side by side. Let's see what we get here. Here we go. Lovely. Okay, we'll put that box uh, right over there. Ah, certificate of authenticity. I have number serial number uh, 545 out of 2000. So the ultimate edition, and I mean auto art. Come on, it, they, they make. They, I mean. You know, I've never owned a Danbury Mint car. I hear they're comparable. Ultimate Edition. We got some instructions. You get a little bit more. This Ultimate Edition, this front bumper bit is separate. It doesn't come off on the uh, this one because the one on here eh, it could be plastic. It, it comes separately for some reason. Oh, we don't want to lose the little can of food. Is this the dog food? Yep, that's the dog food. God, so tiny. How do we even... Look at that. Little itty bitty can of dog food. And we have, instead of the standing dog, the Ultimate Edition comes with the sitting dog for to sit inside the car with Max. And now... The scale of it, the body, if you look at the comparison, the sitting dog is definitely, you know, not, not to the same, not to the same 18th scale. I mean, you can, you can clearly see. Um, but we have both dogs. I love dogs. I have two dogs myself. And then we have our, we have our tire. And we have another can of dog food here. And we've got our dirty BF Goodrich. And our box of doggy food. So we get some dirty dog food for the dirty dog. And then we have <clears throat> a couple of dirty fuel canisters. Very nice. Not bad. Okay. Um, so let's put that aside. And let's get this out of the way. And, well, son of a uncle. I, uh, when I packed this up to move from my, uh, previous state penitentiary of New Jersey, I, uh, obviously screwed it back into the box for extra safekeeping. Two. And... Three. Okay. And one of those is just gonna, yep, there we go. Get that out of the way. And here's the dirty edition. And auto art, I mean, does a beautiful job of muddying this up. And look at that, the detail in there, the bare headlights, and then we just click gingerly, carefully, don't force anything. There we go. Click that into place. There we go. And I mean, it's honestly, it's the same. 
as the other car. Um, I like how they got the windshield dirt done just... They really... That's a level of detail you just don't, you know, expect from a die-cast model car company. And then the exhaust is all muddy. There's a self-destruct device. There's the machete holder. This car didn't come with machetes. And they are hand-numbered. Okay, right there. 0545. So, and it says serial number 0455 of 2000. And this one, there is nothing down there. Okay? So that's cool. Um, same deal. Seat for the dog. The little tiki head guy's got a slightly different paint deco on the little upside down tiki head thing. Slightly different paint deco. Um, inside the driver's side. Same, oh, I forgot, I left the machete in the car. It came with one machete, not two machetes then. So this car included one machete, the, this, which I've never opened before, ever, had two machetes. That might have been a mispack, or this might be missing one, because wouldn't they want a machete in each location? And there's a standard, there's the gear shift with the supercharger activation. Um, God, my, my dogs are barking. Uh, my feet aren't even sore, no. Um, and then the, the engine bay. Engine bay is detailed the same, except there's a little bit of dirt. Okay, we got some mud spatter. And I mean, this is, if you don't like Mad Max, well, he wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't like Mad Max. Uh, these are very cool. These are just lovely. Um, <clears throat> so we can get a good comparison of the regular clean version versus the... There we go. Let's let's make a little room here. There we are. Okay. Let's get you in frame. Come on. There we are. All right. So, yeah, they're cool. They're cool as hell. Um, I looked at the prices on eBay recently. These things have gone insane in price. So, you know, I'm being very careful with them. I do not want to harm these at all. Uh, they are part of my prized collection of die-cast 18-scale movie cars. And uh, that's just a piece of uh, packing foam. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So there we go. Oh, man. I want to display these again, but my, uh, my toy cabinet has been appropriated by a bunch of Gundam figures. And, uh... My wife only allows me one toy cabinet in the house, so I gotta find somewhere else for the Gundams uh, so I can get these guys on display again. Uh, but if anybody has any questions about these other than will I sell them, the answer is no to that automatically. Well, unless you offer me a stupid amount of money. Everything's got a price, right? Uh, you ever see an indecent proposal? None of those shenanigans, all right? All right, none of that, none of that malarkey. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're sweet, they're awesome. Uh, say hi to my buddy Daryl, who uh, I told him I would unbox and show these beauties off. But, um, but um, bum, but there we go. Look at that. So I love the dirty version, um, just because it's so much like it was in the movie. But, damn. The clean version, you get to see that matte inlaid paint so nicely. And auto art just did. God, I'm so bad at filming these unboxings at this table. This camera, I had it set up for model building from above. So when I have to film something from in front, it's less than ideal, shall we say. Um, you even got, you got the little brake rotor and brake caliper in there. Come on, focus. Go macro. There we go. Brake rotor. In the front. Yeah, that's... It's just the level of detail. I mean, I just truly appreciate it. I and mean, they go through the trouble of, of painting all these little bits. Come on, macro. Any day now, camera. Oh, my God. This camera is usually dead-on accurate with its focus. But, yeah. yeah I remembered the self-destruct from the movie. That was, that was the saddest part of the movie when he blew up the car. Uh, but either way, you know, there, there we have it. There's our two interceptors. Let's... A little more. Oh, yeah, I want to put one on display again. I really do. Either way, 
Uh, just a quick unboxing covering the AutoArt Mad Max 2, the Road Warrior Interceptor, an original and limited Ultimate Edition, one of 2,000 made, which is probably why the prices on eBay went just completely stupid. Um, we'll be back with more cool diecast unboxings. Uh, we have, like I said, a decent stash. You know, I wouldn't call it like I've seen some stashes on, on the Facebook groups. It's, just, it's insane. Like, they're impressive. They get hundreds of hundreds of 18 scale cars. I, I don't have the money, time, or space for any of that. I'm impressed as hell, but woo, nothing like that. Either way, that's it. Ian, signing off. Enjoy. Uh, like and subscribe, please. It helps. All right? Later, everybody.